Step 1. Marking the correct side and determining the correct level for a block. There are several ways to determine the correct level. Palpate and count spinous processes from C7, use other surrogate markers, and counting ribs with an ultrasound. Remember, when practicing with the simulator, the most cranial spinous process that could be palpated on our model is SP2. Continuing on, you want to locate and outline spinous process T4, which is one above the required block level for this case. Note that counting ribs with an ultrasound is preferred when it is difficult to palpate spinous processes. Place the ultrasound sagittally with an orientation marker up and scan from the first rib down until the target rib. For TPVB number 5, one should find rib number 5. Step 2. Ultrasound guided marking of the required TP tip. The first scan is axial. The ultrasound probe marker is to the left. Outline the vertical line going over the tips of TP. The second scan is in the sagittal plane. The probe is placed over the vertical line we just made. The probe marker is up. Connect the two lines to mark the projection of the lower edge of the TP tip. The future needle insertion site is a few millimeters below the cross mark. Some important tips for step two. Make sure you have the correct image. Make sure that the target is in the middle of the screen and there is no tilt or rocking of the probe. Mark the middle of the probe if it is not done already. Move your head to achieve the correct viewpoint to avoid a parallax error when marking. When looking at ultrasound images, pay attention to the image. It must be on the TP and not on the root of TP. A few tips. Adjust the probe position in order to place the tip of TP in the middle of the image. Use the rule of an equal-sided triangle to help in detecting the true center of the image. And as a bonus, note the width of the TP and the width of the bone-free window. Step 3. Measuring with ultrasound and deciding on distances. Place the probe axially with the marker to the left with its middle over the future insertion site. This also works as a confirmation of the correct marking. If needed, tilt the probe up to scan over the TP tip. Note the distance from the skin to the TP, which is the ultrasound measured safe landing distance. Tilt the probe down to scan just below the TP. Note the TP lung delta by deducing the TP depth from the previous ultrasound scan from pleura depth in the middle of the screen. When the ultrasound plane is over the tip of the TP, note the depth from the skin to the TP. Here it is 3 centimeters. When the ultrasound plane is below the TP, note the depth to the pleura in the middle of the image. Here it is 5 centimeters. Step 
safe landing distance or distance to TP is the ultrasound measured landing distance plus 5 millimeters. You have to add more if the patient is obese. Here, USLD is 3 centimeters, so SLD is about 3.5 centimeters. If delta is equal or more than 1.5 centimeters, our defaults for initial advancement and secondary advancement are 1 centimeter and 0.5 centimeters. Note that we should scale down our defaults for initial advancement to two-thirds of delta and secondary advancement to one-third of delta if delta is less than 15 millimeters. Commit to not advancing the needle deeper than we estimated with the ultrasound. Step four, numbing tissues and confirming TP location and SLD with a small search needle. We should expect landing on the TP at the depth around 3.5 centimeters. This is our safe landing distance. After numbing the TP, we walk below it and advance the needle one centimeter deeper than the TP. Then inject local anesthetic and place the needle back on the TP. If you do not feel bone under the tip of the search needle at the expected depth, do not advance the needle deeper than the SLD. Pull back and redirect slightly up, down, lateral, or reinsert with ultrasound guidance. We missed the TP on the first pass due to the wrong trajectory, but we did not advance past the safe landing distance. We will land on the TP after correcting our trajectory for the second pass. 